Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Yeah. And today we're going to take a look at how to uninstall a program that is not listed in Add, Remove Programs or Apps in your control panel, so you have no way to uninstall it. What you want to do is locate the uninstaller, because in reality, everything in the control panel where you remove it links to a program. So let's find that. And I'm going to follow this guide here in the background. If I go a little too fast for you, the link to this is in the description of the video. So you'll be able to come here, watch the video, and follow along with screenshots. So let's take Burnaware Free just for fun. I just picked a random program. And you want to right click on it. We're on the desktop right now. And you can click on Open File Location. Now, if you don't have a desktop shortcut, find it in your programs. Right click the part that you'd run, the executable. Look for more. Open File Location. All you got to do now is find the proper file. That didn't work because it's a shortcut, so let's go back to this. And that's a good point because sometimes I've had them on the desktop and it'll open the shortcut, not the file location where it's installed. So you're looking for this. And if you're not sure, most programs will install in Program Files or Program Files x86, as you can see here. Now we're in the folder with Burnaware. Let's scroll down. We're looking for something with different names. Unwise, remove. There's a few different names. In this case, these little icons mean they're applications. You're looking for an icon. That's an application that has something to do with uninstall or remove. I've seen the word unwise stuff like that. And you can see when you line your mouse over it, it is your setup uninstall. All you got to do is click on that now and you can remove the program. We're going to leave it here for now, but that gets you there. Now if you use a program like IOBit Uninstaller, as you can see here, you would have an additional context menu item. So if you had right clicked on this, it would give you the option, as you can see here, to powerful uninstall it. So that's a nice way to get around having it not listed. So everything's explained as you can see down here. And again, there is one other option if that doesn't work and that is to rerun the uninstaller. So in this case, I think it's in my recycle bin. Bring it out here. Let's see how this works. They don't all work the same. But a lot of them will detect that you have it installed and some will offer to let you repair. As you can see, Burnaware is not doing that, I'm not a fan, it's worth the install. But it doesn't matter, if you finish the install routine, it should now show up as something you can uninstall in a perfect world. But again, if you, if you can find the uninstaller, do that. That's going to work a lot better for you. And again, with IOBit Uninstaller, for example, installed, it will also, when you uninstall it manually, it will detect that you're uninstalling something, jump in and offer to clean up the leftover files so you can really fully uninstall it. So not too tough to find as long as you understand that there's different names that they use. Just line your mouse over it and find it. There you go. So there you go. There is how you uninstall a program that's not listed in your apps or add remove programs. As always, thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again.